Hi everybody, today we will study how the economy, Indian economy classified on the basis of terms of employment. On the basis of terms of employment, Indian economy classified into organized sector and unorganized sector. So, we will discuss organized and unorganized sector with two examples. First, ma'am will read two examples. From this example, you can understand that what is organized sector and unorganized sector. Here, two examples are given. Example of Kanta and Kamal. Let us discuss about Kanta. Kanta works in an office. She attend her office from 9.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. She gets her salary regularly at the end of every month. In addition to the salary, she also gets provident fund as per the rules laid down by the government. She also gets medical and other allowances. Kanda does not go to office on Sundays. This is a paid holiday. When she joined work, she was given an appointment letter stating all the terms and conditions of work. Now we will discuss about Kamal. Kamal is Kanta's sniper. He is a daily wage laborer in a nearby grocery shop. He goes to the shop at 7.30 in the morning and works till 8 p.m. in the evening. He gets no other allowances apart from his wages. He is not paid for the days he does not work. He has therefore no leave or paid holidays. Nor was he given any formal letter saying that he has been employed in the shop. He can ask to leave any time by his employer. So this is the case of Kanta and Kamal. From these two examples, we can tell that what is the difference between organized and unorganized sector. I think you understood the example. Anyway, we will study now more about organized and unorganized sector. So, what is organized sector? Organized sector are those enterprises or the places of work where the terms of employment are regular. Therefore, people have assured work. So, what is organized sector? Organized sector are those enterprises or the places of work where terms of employments are regular. Terms of employments are regular. Therefore, people have assured work. People have assured work. So, I think you got what is organized sector. Organized sector are those enterprises or the places of work where the terms of employments are regular. Therefore, people have assured work. They, they are registered by the government. These enterprises or these workplace are places are registered by the government and have to follow some rules and regulation. Have to follow some rules and re regulations which are given on the basis of various law, various laws such as Factories Act, Minimum Wages Act, then Payment of Gratuity Act, Shops and Establishment Act, etc. So, based on these various law, these uh, enterprises have to follow some rules and regulations. And it is called organized sector. Why it is called organized sector? Because it has some formal processes and procedures. This sector have to follow some formal processes and procedures. That is why this organized sector, it is, it, uh, this, it is called formal or it is an organized sector. I think you understood. Now we will look what are the benefit we will get to the organized sector or what are the main benefit the people those who are working in organized sector which are the benefit will get anyway in this organized sector i am told you security in employment they have assured work they have job security so first point they have job security and they have fixed hours they only want to work only a fixed hours will be there that time only they want to work 
okay and after that if they are working means they will get extra payment or they were their overtime work it will be paid for their overtime they will get many other benefits also they will get paid leaves then payment on holidays sunday sometime sunday will be holiday so that holiday also they will get payment then they will get paid leaves they will get pf provident fund they will get gratuity like that many additional benefit these workers those who are working in the organized sector will get then they will get medical benefit medical benefit and many facilities they will get sometimes the employers will provide many additional benefit they will get safe drinking water they will get safe uh, working place environment and some these all some additional benefit they will get from their employer when they will retire they will get pension so these are the benefit that is getting in the organized sector i think organized sector is clear so next one unorganized sector what is unorganized sector unorganized sectors are small and scattered unit small and scattered unit which are largely outside the control of government so what is unorganized sector sector small and scattered unit scattered unit largely outside the control of government largely outside the control of government control of government so unorganized sector is small and scattered unit which are largely outside the control of government there are many rules and regulation in unorganized sector also there are many rules and regulation but these are not followed but these are not followed and many uh, what we what we studied in organized sector same just opposite you want to write in unorganized sector in unorganized sector what about job jobs are secured no job security jobs are low paid and not regular jobs are low paid and not regular no payment for overtime if they working uh, overtime means they won't get any payment they won't get any payment during holidays no paid holidays any time the people may ask to leave from the job without any reason based on the wish of the employer so there was no any job security in unorganized sector large number of people are employed in unorganized sector so i think you got what is unorganized sector unorganized sector are small and scattered unit largely outside the control of government there are rules and regulation but these rules and regulations are not followed jobs are low paid and not regular they they don't have any overtime payment they don't have any holidays they do not have any paid holidays any time they will be in, they can be removed or they can be asked to leave from the job without any reason based on the wish of the employer they don't have any medical facility they don't don't have any pf they don't have any casual leaves i think you understood so this is about unorganized sector but ma'am told you many of the people are working in unorganized sector now we will look how we can protect how to protect the workers in the unorganized sector our next topic how to protect the workers in the unorganized sector so i already told you in organized sector it also offers job many of the workers are doing their work in organized sector but the employment opportunity in this sector is expanding very slowly it offers job but the employment opportunity in this sector is expanding slowly many of the organized sector working like unorganized that also another problem many of the organized sector working like unorganized sector for evading the taxes refusal to follow laws and laws to protect the laborers so large number of workers engaged in unorganized sector and they are paying low salary and they are job their job also not regular 
anyway many of the workers are working in the unorganized sector if you are looking since 1990s it also common to see that many people in organized sector losing their job many workers they are working in the organized sector losing their employment and forced to take up in the unorganized sector so now ma'am told many people now many people from organized sector also they also forced to take up their job in unorganized sector so such type of a sector need to be protected now we will look who are the these vulnerable people who need protection working in the unorganized sector which are the vulnerable group of people who need protection in the unorganized sector it will we will explain it with the example in the case of rural area and urban area first we will look in the case of rural area in rural area which are the main people engaging in unorganized sector in rural area unorganized sector mainly comprises landless agricultural laborers landless agricultural laborers small landless farmers small landless farmers then artisans artisans like weavers blacksmith goldsmith carpenters etc so these are the group or these are the main people those who are engaged in unorganized sector and if you are taking the example of india we can see that in india nearly 80 percentage in the category of people in the category of small and marginal farmers so they are uh, providing if these farmers are providing adequate seeds or ad adequate fertilizers or uh, inputs whatever they needed in the farming the people from this sector will be protected the people those who are doing the work in this unorganized sector will be protected okay so that is in the case of rural area now we will look in the case of urban areas in urban area mainly the unorganized sector comprises workers in the small scale industry workers in the small scale industry casual workers in the construction construction field casual workers in the construction field trade those who are doing trade then those who are working in transport transportation street vendors then hut load workers garment makers etc these all people are working in unorganized sector in the urban area if, if government is providing raw material for them for supporting them if government is providing raw materials and marketing output then the people from these sectors will be protected so this is the way to protect the people in uh, rural and urban area how to protect the workers in the unorganized sector in rural and urban area now we can look the example of uh, scheduled caste and scheduled tribe scheduled caste scheduled tribes and uh, Uh, other backward classes people so you know this is another section of the people those who are engaged in or those who are working in unorganized sector so these people you know these people uh, they also doing their work is not uh, regular they are uh, they are low paid their work is not regular in the same time they are facing social discrimination also so like other people other workers working in unorganized sector these people these people are low paid their job don't have any security or no terms of employment is not regular Uh, not only this this people is facing social discrimination also so the protection of unorganized sector is necessary for uh, economic and social development of the country also so the protection of unorganized sector is very important for social and economic development today we mainly studied about organized and unorganized sector and how we can protect the people those who are working in the unorganized sector i think today's topic is clear to you if you have any doubt ask me we will meet in the next class